So we're at the fiberglass layer finally. I used Aqua Axial, which is a stitched fiberglass reinforcement fabric from Aqua Resin. It's a bit tighter of a weave than I've used before, but it lays down great and takes curves a lot better than I thought it would. Overall, I'm, I'm very happy with how this fiberglass performed. I start off by cutting all the fiberglass I'll need. I cut in, it into a few different sizes, a lot of smaller pieces for the edge of the mold, and a few bigger ones for the areas in between the edges. I definitely recommend getting a good pair of scissors. While my Walmart scissor did not do a good job of cutting the fiberglass, and cutting with bad scissors can be very frustrating. Then I brush aqua resin into the dry mold to prepare the surface for fiberglass. Uh, this helps make sure the glass bonds tightly onto the surface of the mold. And then I wet out the fiber on my handy little piece of aluminum foil. I wet it out on both sides. Before I use my hands and a brush with aqua resin on it to put it in place. If there's a dry spot on the fiberglass piece, I add some more aqua resin onto it. I started off with the edge of the mold, working up to it but not over it. Then I did the areas in between. I think I ended up with about two layers all over the mold. Make sure every piece of fiberglass overlap each other so they bond together thoroughly as this creates the strongest cast possible. It's important to work out all the air bubbles as well. If the fiberglass doesn't lay down properly, there will be an air pocket between the glass and the surface coat, which can break, making a hole in the surface of your sculpture. Um, this, this can be fixed uh, after you open the mold, uh, so it's not the end of the world, but you know, you'd rather avoid any, any fixing if possible. If you like what you saw here, hit the like and subscribe buttons. As I've said before, I'm planning on doing a lot more of these in the future and I'm excited to do the first one on sculpting fairly soon. Thank you for watching.